my crafty creatures and thank you for tuning into this video. If it's your first time here, I'm Kia and I like to do fashion DIYs as well as home decor DIYs. So if you want to see what I did for this home decor DIY, please stay tuned to the video. These are the supplies that I used for this project. I used three different types of spray paint, a clear coat, a color, and a metallic. And I have the dollar store flowers, about four different kinds. And then I got the pencil holders that they have as well as a spray gun, a piece of paper, and then I also had felt and wire cutters. The first thing I did was set up in a well ventilated area and then I just spray paint the first layer and I made sure that I got in at every angle that I possibly could to make sure it was well coated. Now I'm just adding in a second coat to make sure that I got any areas that I might have missed on the first layer. And this ended up being all I needed. After the second layer completely dries, I add a clear coat and this will help prevent any scratches from taking off the paint. And I just do this the same as the first two layers. The next step I did was spray the metallic on. The mistake I did make was that I put the pencil holder upside down when really it should have just been right side up. And then I hold this paper and spray along that line, making sure that I'm as level as possible and that'll give you the more gradient, gradient effect that I wanted to have with it. To fix the mistake I made, I just went back over it with some of the blue and then went back over it with the silver just to create more of a gradient and that'll give you the same effect as what I was trying to do. After drying, this is what it ended up looking like and it actually came out really well. So next we're going to take the flowers and then we're going to cut off all of the stems and then we're also going to make sure that they fit so we're going to be cutting them to length. Now I'm just going to arrange the flowers and I arrange them by alternating between the two colors and then once I finish that I'm going to tie it together with the elastic band that I have. After that I'm just taking the flowers from the outer edge and then just bending them just slightly so that they will flare out a little more. Now taking the felt, I'm doing a rough measurement um, just to make sure that it fits with inside the pencil holder and this piece is about 10 inches in width. Now I'm just taking the felt and stretching it a little bit at the top end of it so that it creates a little bit of a cone that will fit in perfectly on, as the lining for the pencil holder. And now I'm just going to take it and put it in there, lining it up with the back seam and just pushing it in there just to make sure it's nice and snug and then I'll go in and cut out all the excess felt. If you wanted to you could secure this into place with some hot glue but I chose not to and I just testing it out to make sure that it looks nice with the flowers. So this ended up being the final product and I really liked it and I hope you guys liked it as well and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys for tuning into this video and if you liked it give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to follow me on my social media everything will be in the description below i'll see you in the next one guys bye